The near perfect condition of this 1902 Jones Model CS sewing machine makes it hard to believe it's over 120 years old. Except for filling in a very few chips in the paint to protect exposed metal from rust, this machine is in essentially unrestored condition. The only way to find a better one would be from a museum where it's been under a glass case its entire life. Besides looking great, these Jones machines feature the very best of British engineering at the turn of the last century. There's one more thing that makes this particular machine special to me. It comes from the collection of Alex Askarov, a world-renowned expert, collector, and author on antique sewing machines and a longtime mentor to me. To wind the bobbin, release the main wheel from the machine, so only the main wheel turns. Bring the thread down through this bottom guide, around behind this finger, up through the top guide, and crank away. Insert the bobbin into the shuttle with the thread coming off the top. Slide it in. Bring the thread down through this slot. Use your finger to prevent the bobbin from turning. Bring it down and up and snap it so that it comes under and then over on top of that little finger. Like that. To thread, bring the thread over through this guide, down and around the tensioner between the two tensioning discs up to the take-up arm through this guide through this wire guide and then down to the needle from left to right after that bring the thread up from the bottom in the usual way and you're ready to sew and as this close-up shows even after 120 years she sews as sweet a stitch as anyone could want I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the newest addition to our collection of sewing machines. Our current project is an 1880 Wanzer A. I hope you'll check back to see it when it's done. Thanks for watching.